Good morning, my name is Keiki Olavia and I'll be the captain for our flight today to Chicago. We should be leaving from here in approximately uh, an hour from now and we are preparing our flight today in uh, restricted quarters. My friend here is Daniel Gerard, he'll be the first officer and uh, our flight today has been planned over the Atlantic. on the most northerly track, which is a very good scenic track because it will take us over the southern tip of uh, Greenland. The winds are pretty strong on the southern part of the Atlantic. That's one of the reasons that we will be flying quite to the north. Uh, Hello, my name is Philip Cannon. I shall be your flight engineer on this Sabina flight to Chicago. We're about 40 minutes away from takeoff, and I'm just about to do my final walk around to make sure that everything is properly closed and uh, the aircraft is in a good condition. The walk around goes clockwise around the aircraft, and we start with the nose wheel assembly. I'll be the pilot flying. Yeah. And you clear all emergencies once I order you to do so. In case of engine failure or fire before V1, I'll stop with the auto brake and I'll call stop. Daniel monitor the brake pressure, call out the ground speeds. Yeah. Philip monitor the speed brakes and uh, call out the symmetrical reverses. After V1, we will go straight ahead, climb to 1,000 feet, accelerate to 280 knots make a right climbing turn towards the ocean to go and dump and we'll have an approximately dump time of 35 minutes. Okay. on the history of this aircraft. This is a 747-300. Uh, it was built in Seattle in 1986. And Danielle and myself, we did our rating on this aircraft when it was delivered in 1986. So it's about 12 years old. It's uh, basically the same aircraft system-wise as a 747-200. Uh, but it has an extended upper deck which seats uh, about 34 club class passengers at, in the present configuration. We can seat about a total of 385 passengers and the difference with the 747-400, the 747-400 is practically the same airplane but the systems have been revised so that it can be operated by computers and they uh, just got rid of the uh, flight engineer's panel and the uh, wing is about the same. It has an extended wing tip by uh, having two uh, enormous winglets. And due to the more modern engines and a beefed up uh, takeoff weight, it can travel much further than us. Our practical range with this aircraft is about 5,600 nautical miles. This is called the horizontal situation indicator. Right now, we have a true heading, and we are on course. This course is given by the initial navigation system. We have 200 miles to go to our next waypoint. 
and our ground speed is 518 nautical miles an hour. Uh, Sabina 279 stand 227 for pushback. Sabina 279, hello, pushback 227 approved. Push approved, Sabina 279. The entrance is blocked. You hold on inner 8. On inner 8, expect 2081, we are ready for taxi. Sabina 781, Terra Blue, out of 6, Bravo 1, holding point 25 right, QNH, so 999. Approaching minimums. 